If I want to name a technology that completely changed the 21st century, it will be artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a part of our everyday life, and that's why it is important for us to understand the different concepts of AI. With this in mind, I welcome you to the talk. Hi everyone, I'm Suchi from Yasen. Today, I will be discussing about the different guides of AI. So, let us begin discussing the agenda with you. We begin the talk by understanding the histories of AI. Following, it will be understanding what exactly is AI. After that, we will discuss different stages and different types of AI. Besides of that, we have domains of AI and we will finally end the sessions with our human can really trust AI and what if AI becomes self-aware. I hope all of you are clear about the agenda. Now, let us get started. The first topic which is the histories of AI. The concept of AI goes back to the classical ages under the Greek mythology. The concept of machines and mathematics. Invent all well or told all. An example of Talos, Talos was supposedly a giant animated bronze warrior programmer to guide the AI island's creek. Now, let's get back to the centuries of 1950. Island Turning proposed a training test. The training test basically will test whether a computer can think like a human being. In 1951, marking an invention of game intelligence. This period is called Game AI because here is a lot of computer scientists wrote a checkers program and one word for the chess. However, this game are being reinvented in a better way. In 1956 marked the most important years for AI. During this year, John McCurry first coined the term AI at the Dartmouth conference. It is followed by the first AI laboratory which was set up in 1951. In 1960, the first robot was introduced to General Motors assembly line. In 1961, the first AI chatbot called Elza was introduced in 1961. In 1997, IBM Deep Blue Beats World Championship Barrier Transference in the Games of Chess. 2005, Stanford Racing Team Autonomous Robot Car called Stanley wins the 2005 Dark Car Grand Challenge. In 1911, IBM Question Answering System, Watson, defeated the two greatest jokatory champions, Brad Bartos and Ken's Journey. So that were the brief histories of AI. And next, let's move on to, the under to understood what exactly is AI. The first terms of AI coined by the John McCurry to define AI is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. In other words, AI can also be defined as the developments of computer systems that are capable of performing tasks that are normally require human intelligence, such as decision making, object detection, so solving complex problems, and so on. So now, let's understand about the stages of artificial intelligence. We have ANI, AGI, ASI. So what is artificial narrow intelligence? Artificial narrow intelligence is also known as big AI. ANI is the stages of artificial intelligence involving machines that can perform only a narrow defined set of specific tasks. And artificial general intelligence is also known as strong AI. Artificial general intelligence is the stage in the evolution of artificial intelligence, whereas in machine will process the ability to think and make decisions just like human. Then uh, finally we have the last one which is artificial super intelligence. Artificial super intelligence is the stage of the final the stage of artificial intelligence when the capabilities of computer will surpass the human being. Move on to the types of AI. AI can be categorized as four types. The first type is the reactive machine AI. Reactive machine AI include machine that operates solely based on present data, taking in account only the current situations. Reactive AI machine cannot form inference from the data to evaluate their future actions. For example, a deep blue defeated world champion Gary Capsule 1991 in a chess. Next, we have limited memory AI. Limited memory AI can make informed and improved decisions by signing the past data from the memory. Such as AI has a short, short lived or temporary memory that can be used to store past experience and hence elevate future actions. For example, the self-directing car uses the data collected in recent past to make immediate actions. Next, we have theories of mind AI. The theory of mind AI will focus mainly on emotional intelligence, 
so that human belief and talk can be better comprehended. The theories of mind is speculated to play a major role in human physiology. Moving on to the last type of AI, the self-awareness AI, included machines that have their own consciousness and become self-aware. This type of AI does not exist yet. Moving on to the next topic is the different domain and branches of AI. We have machine learning, deep learning, robotics, expert system, logic, and natural language processing. So these are the different domain and branches that AI use to solve problems. Machine learning is basically designed to get machines to interpret and analyze data in order to solve worldwide problems. Next, we have deep learning. Deep learning is a process of implementing uh, neural networks of high dimensions of data to gain insight and form solutions. Then we have natural language processing. Natural language processing refers to the science of drawing insight from natural human language in order to communicate to the machines and global system. An example of uh, natural language processing is Twitter and Amazon. Property is the branch of artificial intelligence which focus on different branches and applications of AI robots. Then we have fuzzy logistics is computing a cross based on the principles of degrees of truth. Instead of the usual Boolean logic, fuzzy logic is used in medical fields to solve complex problems which involve decision making. Then we have expert system and expert system is an AI based computer system that launch and reciprocate the decision making abilities of the human. Expert systems are mainly used in information management, those was used in false detections, virus detecting and managing hospital medical report. Next, we will move on to the next slide. A human can really trust AI and what if AI becomes self-aware? When we continue to improve our intelligent machine years after years, at a certain point we will build a machine that is smarter than we are. And when they are smarter than we are, they will begin to improve themselves. Eventually, it will lead to the intelligence explosion, which the process could get away from us. It is not that our machine will become spontaneously malevolent. The concern is that we will build the machine that are so much competent that we are that the slightest divergence between their goals and our own could destroy us. Just think about how we relate to the ends. We does not hate them. We does not go out of the way to harm them. In fact, sometimes we take pains not to harm them. We step over them onto the sidewalk. Whenever the presence, presence is seriously conflict with one of our goal, one of our goal, we annihilate them without a column. The concern is that we will one day build machines that, whether they are conscious or not, could trace us with a similar disrupt. We have already built a narrow intelligence into our machine, and many of these machines perform at a level of superhuman intelligence already, which could give rise to the inner general intelligence an ability to think flexibly across multiple domains. We will generally build the general intelligence in our machines and it is crucial to realize that the base of progress does not matter because any progress is enough to get us into the end zone. Finally, we does not stand on the pace of intelligence and it is crucial insight that makes our situation so precocious and this is what makes our institutions about race so unreliable. And if we build machines that are more intelligent than we are, they will very likely assist us in ways that we cannot imagine. When electronic circuit functions about a million times faster than biochemical one, so this machine should think about a million times faster than the minds that build it. We have to understand how to avoid an arm race and to build in a way that is aligned with our interests and we have to admit that we are in the process of building some sort of God. Now would be a good time to make sure it is a God that we can live in view. So guys, that's all for today. I hope all of you enjoy the talk. Thank you.